Hi, let's have a look at this Microsoft Power Automate community thread. So the question asking here is workflow showing no input, but it shouldn't be. So as you can see here, um, the user had a flow and um, it's asking, it's checking something um, uh, called project request is not equal to project request, um, but still it's showing as cancelled even though this step is executed. So down the line, I asked for a bit more info, then found out that uh, the user had added a terminate under the flow action step one of the action step and you can see here uh, that is uh, uh, run as a green symbol that means it's run successfully and then uh, but the action step above the if condition it's still showing as cancelled okay so what happened here then so uh, let's inspect this by building a flow then okay okay so i got a manual trigger flow uh, just to demonstrate the terminate action step uh, okay let's declare a variable for the purpose of the demo so go to a variable i'm going to initialize the variable uh, just call it as counter and uh, it's an integer one i'm going to default to zero then okay next step um, i'm going to add another control called uh, case okay switch and here i'm going to say counter is equal to one so i'm expecting the value should be one suppose and uh, then the default so under the default i'm going to use the terminate one terminate control okay just make it fail now yeah failed and uh, i want to set a code 10 and say something like um, uh, counter value is wrong okay now save the flow and uh, let's run this flow and see what we are going to get i'm going to click the back button and run from here okay flow is running just refresh it flow it says failed okay let's go and inspect the run history here so why the flow uh, failed because i added a terminate it's simple as that so whenever you add a term terminate it cancel that step because it's executed it but it cancelled it because we said termi terminate it it doesn't re because this action step is under the if uh, that switch condition so the entire that action step is cancelled because it it's failed okay i'm going to change that terminate to uh, fail to cancelled okay let's see what happens save that flow go back and run the flow again I could run I could run from the say uh, test flow as well I'm just uh, you know showing you um, uh, a different way of running it that's all it is okay running that right that is cancelled so the one which we set as failed it says oh the f status for the fl uh, flow is failed and this is cancelled so let's go back here switch switch still says cancelled okay and this is the terminate one and terminate we said that as cancelled and if i go and look the previous one again the failed one again it says fa cancelled one it's a little bit confusing that is i would say yeah because it should say here failed isn't it so it it doesn't so basically your action step is uh, used to, is terminated and the run history shows what uh, status you used there so let's go and change that to uh, can uh, succeeded okay so what happens in this case then let's go back run the flow okay again it says cancelled but terminate it's executed but what does the run history says run history says it succeeded so here we go so you can use this in different uh, purpose so suppose you want to uh, you know properly um, uh, document it with your return with um, cancellation with uh, failed with a certain values of course you can use it and then you know when the flow fails you can go back and have a look why it failed then it should say oh this is the reason it failed 
or you just want to cancel that uh, completely uh, you don't want to you know run the run your next step onwards so if i go to another step below it won't execute it so let's add that so i'm just going to add a compose after that switch statement and uh, say just a test save it okay go back run the flow again and that says cancelled see it didn't it skipped because here the terminate action step is cancelled that's the reason so overall terminate means it terminates the whole flow from that step in the run history when you go for the detailed run history it always shows that as cancelled okay but in the run in the run history from the main menu it shows the right status there so it depends the scenario how you want to use it you know there are business scenarios you want to validate certain inputs or under the if conditions um, you know or in this case uh, you know i'm evaluating uh, only one value here if i got multiple values here i could say here also like case 2 and uh, if the case 1 and 2 is not there under the default either i can decide yeah i'm not bothered i'm i'm just going to make it as succeed that but i don't want to execute any of the further below steps so your flow will run as su succeed or you can set this as failed so that means flow will fail and then uh, the flow failed it returns that error and then again it won't execute the below step so when you come to debug mode or you want to uh, you know check why it's been failed you will clearly understand why it has been failed or you can say i want to cancel it that's another business scenario so it all depends so my understanding is if we use the failed one flow flow is treating that as a failed one you still get the notification built in from the flow as for saying that your flow is failed as an email you know so um i haven't tested that um, as um, i haven't received an email set i think the email kicks in after a few intervals only so it may happen i'm not really sure that so the terminate is used for different business scenarios I uh, hope this makes it more clear and understanding when you when you need to use the terminate action step thank you for watching